All right. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Oh, as I see, we only have Mohan today, which makes you our distinguished guest, Mohan. Um, hello. I don't know uh, whether it is morning or afternoon or even evening in your time, so I just want to say hello and welcome to our webinar today. And within the next one hour, we are going to talk about reduce costs and increase revenues at once. We are Jack and JC from Maystore. A little bit about our company. We are one of the three best Magento extension providers in, located in Vietnam. So if you want to visit our website, please just go to maystore.com for more information. All right, um, as I was saying, reduce costs and increase revenues are the two very important things to every single business since it directly affects the benefit at the end of the period. So how to reduce costs and increase revenues at once? Today, we will present to you one of our proud tools is Retailer Kit. All right, um, so what do we have today? We will talk firstly about Retailer Kit. Um, I, we, we just give you some general idea about Retailer Kit, what it is, and what are some benefits of it. And then we will have some closer look at our two very outstanding extensions, inventory management and web POS, which we have you to, as uh, I want to repeat again, increase revenues and reduce costs. All right. Now, retailer kit. What is retailer kit? If you ever come visit my, uh, our website and go to retailer kit, you will see, uh, you will definitely see this picture. This one will just um, give you guys the first exp uh, expression on retailer kit. Uh, so, uh, the question one more time, what is retailer kit? Retailer kit is a pack of 10 Magento extensions designed to grow your brick and click business. All the extensions are centralized on one single dashboard that streamlines all your retail processes. And all these Extension included in this kit will give you fully cover from the four stages from attract, sell, retain to manage. They will have you blur the line between your physical and digital stores. Right, let's just say we have the very first stage is attract. This one is, I think, the most important scene without customer. Of course, we could not make any sale. So we have uh, three extensions for this test, Affiliate Plus. Well, this one will create a perfect affiliate program with the four, the four tools for affiliates to refer and six ways for store owners to set commission. Next one, we have Store Locator. It shows all store to website users and locate the nearest store from their location. Th that is for the user. What about the customers? Yes, we had a store pickup. It will let the customers select the nearest store to pick up items at checkout. And of course, it will be free ship. For sale, we have first list is the web POS. You can see it provides you with a touch screen interface POS module to take orders and payments in store 10 times faster. Right? And then one step checkout, the name says for sale, uh, you have uh, you you would do all the checkout in within one page only. It would be much more convenient, all right? Also, it is a check of this and forty more than forty payment methods supported. To uh, for retain, of course, uh, when once you have your customer, you want to keep them by your side. So gift card, reward points, and store credits will help you with this one. Those extensions will create a loyalty program. We have the customer to feel appreciated, and of course they could try to buy more because the more they buy, the more they get. That is how it works. Lastly, we have yeah, last but not least, we have the managed state. Um, for this state, we also provide two extensions: PDF invoice, have used to customize the invoice order, credit memos, templates, with drop and drag editor. It should be quite easy to use. Uh, lastly is Inventory Plus, or we might say Inventory Management. It have you to manage stocks of multiple stores, track purchases, shipments, 
forecast and reports. So yes, um, no other 10 extension included in our retail kit. All right. Mm, now I think that we will move on to the customer problems. This is the reason why we have retail kit from the beginning. In the past, we have made a quick interview with our current customers to find out more about their needs and problem. And those are those are some feedbacks that we receive. I always have problem in finding a solution to sync the data between online and offline stores. It takes a lot of manual work and mismatch happens all the time. It's difficult to, to find all the modules we can satisfy our needs. Also making sure that all of them will work well with each other is not easy as well. Totally need a really quick process for my bonkers system. I just started a new website, but I'm not sure what is necessary to optimize it. Okay, so those are some problems from our actual customers. And here are some things that our retailer kit offers. As I mentioned before, our retailer kit is a, well, the pack of 10 extensions. Those extensions are well integrated together and decided to cover all the must have functions for your website. You got everything you need with one only one click buy. All the extensions are installed directly on your website. Thus, data synchronization will never be a problem. And of course, they are managed under under one dashboard with a really friendly and professional professionally designed menu. Especially, we also offer customization service, no third party involved, and warrant for the best optimized customization with deep understanding about extensions, we are always trying to say yes to all requirements with a very reasonable price. Of course, contact us for more details. Now, um, as I said before, we are today is Jack and Chasey. So now, you guys will have the chance to meet, uh, to meet Chasey with the very first part in our very first extension for today, inventory management and how it helped you to cut costs. All right, now, please give a warm welcome to Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. I'm Chasey, Product Specialist from Inventory Management Team from Maystar, and it's my pleasure to um, show you some tips to cut the cost using inventory management extensions. Um, there's many ways to cut the cost for business, but um, in this presentation, I will show you the most practical and applicable methods that you can use uh, immediately after you walk out from this webinar. Look at the outline. I will show you four tips. The first one is to keep a great stop for your inventory. Uh, the second one is to use backward management to improve the productivity. The third one is I will show you how to use the forecast to prevent excess stop. And the last one, how to keep track inventory with the report system. So let's get to each of these part in details, and I will show you the demo of the inventory uh, extensions, how it works for you. First is um, keep accurate stuff. Keeping the accurate stuff will be will be very important to your business because it will help you to reduce the time, reduce the Euros and um, help you to reduce the unnecessary costs for your business. And one simple way to keep a great stop is by physical stop taking. Do you know what physical stop taking is? Actually, physical stop taking is doing physically counting all of your stop and matching this up to your stop records to discover any discrepancies. The frequency of stop take varies between businesses. Some prefer one or twice a year, but others can prefer quarterly or monthly counts. Doing this gives you a control, a great control over your stock, helping you discover the reason for stock shrinkage issues, including damaged stock, missing stock, and poor stock control practice, so that you can have solutions and find a way to avoid this from happening. 
And doing this frequently also have you uh, gives you an overview and put your focus to the stop which is stalled for too long and you can review and decide if you still want to keep this product with a low performance in stock or you decide to replace them with a new and more potential for selling product. And um, right now I will walk you through the demo of inventory management, how you can do the physical stock taking in our inventory extension. Oh, can you see my screen now? Okay, as you can see, there's a menu, inventory management menu. It is the demo of uh, Mosento 2 extension. To do physical stop taking, you go to stop control, new stop taking. There are five steps. The first step is to fill in the general information. You select the warehouse that you will do stop take. Prepare the product list. There are two options. You can add the product to stop take. Select own product. Add them. Or you can import the products that you want to do stop take by CSV file. Okay. Now you can start stop take. Now there is a column showing up um, name count quantity. This is the uh, quantity that you will count manually. Imagine that now you go to the warehouse and you pick the product and you count the number of it. You can fill in the quantity like what I'm doing now. But actually I will not do this in real life. I will try to use it more automatically by using a sample file. size contains two columns, uh, the barcode and quantity. When you use a barcode scanner, you can easily read all the information and update the quantity here. After you, you have the file uh, filled up, then you will go back to this stage and select the file and import it. And now the quantity, um, the stop take quantity will be updated automatically here. Suppose that I have done this part and now quantities are updated. I will complete this stop take. All right, now this stop taking has been complete and you can see there a table here. It shows the quantity in the warehouse. This is the, the quantity uh, that the system records. And the count quantity is that the this is the quantity that, that you have just counted by uh, doing uh, by using the backward scanner, and you compare between those two. Now you can export the different lists from here. It even gives you a report of um, a certain product which is have the. Uh, which is have the difference uh, between the quantity in warehouse and quantity from doing stop taking. This is the wrong quantity, and you have to uh, you will uh, see which product has a problem in order to check what happened with them. Okay. 
So that is that. This is the physical stop taking process, and uh, doing this is can help you to better uh, stop control and help you to to reduce the unnecessary cost in managing uh, inventory. Okay, now we will go to the next um, to the next tips. Are you using a barcode system for your business now? If you're not, then you should do the barcode management right now because barcode is widely known as a method to cutting costs and saving time. Barcodes provide a method to track and store information about goods accurately. While it takes quite a lot of time, if you search the information uh, manually. And it also saves time for you when you do some operations of inventory system, like the stop taking that I have just walked you through, and other um, operations like purchasing or shipping the goods. And when you scan the, uh, the barcode, you can read the information quickly, including product name, price, supplier, and its availab availability in each warehouse. Now to show you how it really works, I will walk you through the demo again. So this is the demo from version 2 and here is the backup management. It has backup listing, generate backup, cream backup, and config the backup label templates. So when you have the product in your warehouse, but they, but um, it doesn't have the barcode yet, you can generate it easily from uh, using these features. Generate barcode, filling the reasons. Now you select the product that you want to generate barcode. You can choose to fill in the supplier or not. And generate. All right, so now you can see the barcode generated like this. And it will show in the barcode listing. Now when you scan a barcode, you can read the information of this product. Now it will give you the name, the SKU, the price, and the availability in each warehouse, primary warehouse, the quantity, and also the cell location where the, the um, product is located. Also, you can print. You can select the quantity to print the backup labels. Here is here is a sample for backup labels. Not only that, you can also print uh, many backup at once. You select multiple product at once, like this, cream back up. Now you can print this out and then you cut it and stick it to the product. When you stick the barcode to the product, uh, later on, you can scan the barcode easily to update the quantity, or you can use it when you check out for customer, or um, you will apply it in different operations like uh, picking the product, or uh, purchasing product and creating deliveries. Very simple, isn't it? 
and for the label templates you can easily configure it you can add the new templates or use the um, default templates that we already have here all of this the uh, the measurement here can be config you can config whatever you want All right, so with the convenience of barcode um, management, we definitely recommend you to use the features to reduce the cost and to better manage your stock and your product. So next part, uh, the next tip is very important because um, forecast to prevent excess stock would help you to keep your stock level at the, an ideal level. So it's a minim minimum um, stock level that ensures the supply. Uh, it's really annoying if you do not have enough stock when the sales comes in, but it's also a burden if you have the excess stock in your warehouse because there will be extra costs added and it reduces your profit. And our system would help you to um, simplify the process and give you about the, uh, give you a predictions about the stock demand so that you can you will not do it manually but do it automatically. So basically, the forecast supply needs what it do is that it gives you a predictions uh, how much stock you need to purchase for a certain period in the future. And not only the forecast supply needs but we provide the real stock no notifications. It will have you to notify how many days that the product will be out of stock soon so that you can plan ahead. And there are two ways to notify. The first one is based on sales history. And the second one is you can base on the safety stock level. And um, I will show it in the demo of our extensions. Uh, inventory management under predictions, supply needs. Okay, you can see, um, you can choose which warehouse you want to forecast. Basing on sales period and select the day that you want to forecast in the future. And so supply needs. And it will display the data here. It will calculate based on quantity sold per day and multiply by the number of days in the futures and gives you the supply needs, how many stock you have to purchase to ensure the supply till this day. Okay. And this is just the recommend data you can base on that to uh, decide how many stock that you should purchase from the supplier. Now go to the low stop features. We can set different stop rules. When you add the new rules. Here you can select uh, the hours that the notifications will be sent to you to the warehouse admin and sales staff. In conditions, you can select any condition from here. The product attribute, which product you want to notify. For example, select a certain SKU. Like this, if you want to apply for only this product. And the low stock three hold types, we have three, two types, which is available quantity days. What is this? If you fill 30 days, then if the system um, predicts that in the next, in the next, um, for example, fifth, um, 35 days that it will be out of stock, then before that, 
before the 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 day that it will be out of stock, it will notify you at least um, three days. And the sales period is uh, basing on the history sales that you want to get. Okay, say. You have this rule basing on the days. But like I said there are two types of uh, stop notifications. So the second one is available quantity. So you set a safety stop level for this product. Uh, for example, 5 and set this rule. It means that when the quantity of this product reach to 5, there will be a notification sent immediately to, to you. The actions will be config here. You can select the, you can uh, fill in the email that you want to notify like this. All right. Now it's done. So the great thing about this feature is that you can set a se several rules and basing very flexible on both quantity and the number of days. I hope that you uh, will utilize these features to keep your stuff at the ideal levels. And the last but not least is to keep track inventory with a report system. So. Uh, in these sessions, I will show you the frequent use uh, report. I think that you can save a lot of um, a lot of money and cut a lot of costs if you use this report because you will focus on the products which has the best performance. You um, select the supplier which bring you the the most profit, and you can check the activities of each product and. Uh, activities in each warehouse using the stop movement movement report. So I also walk you through the demo of this. For the the first two reports I will use the Magento one versions of inventory. Okay. So, to access a product sales report, under sales report, you select the SKU. You can filter basing on time period. Now it gives you the data. It's have you identify which product is selling well and which is not, so that you know uh, which product you should focus, which product you should purchase more, we stop more, and which product you should stop selling, or maybe considering to put it on the sales. And this will help you to cut the cost, uh, the unnecessary cost to keep the unsellable product in the warehouse, and finally increase your profit. Then you also can filter the sales by supplier. And now you see which supplier is selling the most. Yeah. So it's clearly shown that everything land and wholesale top lines, uh has the highest sales value. So they will be the supplier that you should consider to uh, work with in the long term or you should invest more on them. Okay. Back to the report. Also have the purchase report. Yeah, then 
you will see that um, the supplier that you purchase the most is also the wholesale tops, mouse, and everything land. Okay. And the last report I want to show you is the stock movement report. And it will be in this demo of Magenta 2 extension. Under stock control, there will be stock movement history. All right. With this, uh, with this advanced filter of Magenta 2, you can easily filter the stock movement in, in each warehouse. So this is all the transactions and all the activities happening in this warehouse. Whether you deduct a stock by sales shipment or you transfer the stock, you can all easily check it. Here is uh, an example for the shipment, sales so shipment. Yeah, you can check the product SKU with transfer quantity. And it also allows you to check the activities happening to only one product. Like this. So if you filter based on SKU, you can also check what happened with this product. And if you see any strain quantity, you can easily trace back to stop movement history to see if there is any problem. Okay, so I have shown you um, three three reports that I think that is useful to have. You keep track of inventory and reduce the cost in managing stop and inventory. Um, so I guess my part is uh, done now. Thank you for following the tips to cut costs on inventory management now. I would like to introduce Jack. He will guide you with uh, useful tips on how to increase your revenue using WebUS and demo for you some important features. Thank you. OK. Uh, all right, thank you, Tracy. And here is me, Jack, back again with you guys. You have heard Tracy talking about inventory management and how awesome it is in managing inventory, of course. Now you will ask, what can WebPOS do, right? Now, imagine if you own an offline store, and one day a customer just come to you and say that he wants to buy one unit of this product, 10 of that product, and 15 of that one and he wants you to make order as fast as possible because he is in a very hurry now um what will you do of course because um you will be a little bit confused and you would do the checkout as usual you go to your website uh, choose products and process but that would take a lot of time and i think i don't think that is what the customer do because when they come to you they ask for help and they think that you could help them. And of course, with our web POS, you could do that. You could help them. And how, OK, you might ask. Now I will just um, show you guys our demo for Magento 2 web POS to see how you could do with our extension. All right, maybe you guys will just uh, wait for one moment. I will just have to set up a little bit with the demo and the success screen. Right, it might take some time. <laughs> Please be a little bit patient here.
way, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, I hope that you guys can see it now. I'm so sorry it took a lot of time. Well, yes, here you can see is the interface of WebPOS. What you will see whenever you log into the system. Right on the left side, we have the menu, uh, menu bar, uh, some feature that you could use with WebPOS. And then next, uh, next to it, we have the, um, well, it's just um, notification icon. Yeah, no worry about that. On the next one, we have the shirt bar, where you could search for products and items, of course, by uh, inputting the name, attribute, or even using a uh, backup scanner to do the job. Or maybe you could do it by uh, you could search for product by category. Here, right? For example, yeah, that is how you use it with the category. And of course, uh, below that, we have a list of products and items in your system. All right. And on, this, and on the right side, uh, we have firstly is the cart, uh, where all of your products will obviously be placed here, as you can see. The customer, whenever you click on this icon, you will either can create one customer, you use guest, or choosing an already existing customer. Right now, I will just uh, pick one. Well, let's say I will pick this guy. Very bad. Um, even if, even when you already uh, pick one customer, you could edit the information of him. So I will just uh, make it very good instead of very bad because it's uh, more positive. All right. Lastly, we have the price field. Of course, we need some somewhere to see the price for our cart. Now, let's just uh, try to create an order and see how it works on Magento Web POS. The first, uh, we will just look at the products here. I think that you guys noticed this one is the very two icon. The first one is a small white circle icon with the green E inside of it. It is the product details. Whenever you click on one, a pop-up will show and you guys can view the description actually the details of the product with a description the size and the price also you could adjust the quantity here by clicking on the minus or plus button other than that if yeah if you want to buy this product just click add to cart okay or else yeah you don't need to the second button is this one the red triangle it is the out of stock okay whenever a product with the quantity is zero you can see here, this pop-up will show. It prevents us from uh, checking out this product. OK, let me just try. All right, we have a warning. This product is currently out of stock. So we could not use that, those products to check out. OK, now I just uh, want to buy this one, this bag, and this backpack. OK, um, in some case, when the customer wants to buy some products, we, we already have on stock, but have not been updated in the system yet. What will you do? Okay, then we provide you with the custom sale. With this custom sale, you could just um, add any product. Okay, literally any product that you have on your stock. Let me just say, um, maybe the customer won an, an Avenger hoodie. You guys, have, uh, you guys have not have it on the system yet, but available on stock. So the price for this one is $75 and non-taxable. Um, so just add to cart. You have another product. 
Okay, Avenger hoodie, and you could just um, easily to check out this one as usual. Now I just want to edit a little bit about those product. Let's just say the back I want two instead of one, and I want the product. Um, the, the price for this product is only twenty uh, forty instead of forty five. Okay, I just click on this. Here I will just adjust the quantity by clicking on one, or maybe I just input it or three or two. That is uh, up to you. Now we have the two bags with the new pro um, the new price for two is. Ninety dollar, of course, but okay. I want it to be only forty dollar instead of forty five for it. Now I have a custom price. With the custom price, we can set the new price for this one. The original is forty five for each units, right? So I want it to be forty only. You can see here, the new price for these two bags is eighty instead of ninety. What if I want it to be by percent? Here yeah, I want the new price is only 19% of the uh, old price, so I just type it 90 here. Okay, you can see the new price it becomes 81. Of course, it is 90% of 90 dollar. The discount, well, uh, this is basically the same thing. Discount is the number um you would just deduct from the price. For example, by dollar, I would just deduct five dollar for each product. The same thing happens here, eighty dollar instead of ninety. The same thing with percentage. I want to deduct nine percent of the price. So the new price, once again, is eighty one dollar. Okay, so that is how you edit the quantity and price for one product. But what if you want the same thing to the whole cart? You don't want to just click on uh, the single product once again, right? And over and over. So we have this one, add discount. So basically, you just add the discount to the whole cart. Every product will be applied. Again, we will have the discount and promotion. Where well, the promotion is quite easy to understand. You just have to um, input the coupon code, and the system will do the rest. About the discount, uh, first of all, you need to input the name of discount. This one can be anything. It depends on your system. So maybe I would just, uh, well, just make it uh, make it up for one is the handsome coupon. Maybe the customer is handsome, so he gets like five percent discount. Okay, this one, I would just type five. If you only type five, you can see the number is zero point zero five. Okay, so you need to input like the two more zeros this one is by dollar okay you want to uh, discount by dollar or by percents so I want it to be by percent so again I would just type five percent and then you have to click on apply okay see so we have the discount for the whole cart is ten point seventy five dollar so the subtotal is uh, 215 and the total one is only one, uh, 204.25. Now uh, we, all, we uh, already have the price, just uh, move on to the checkout page. On checkout, of course, you will ha um, have the chance to review all the information again, like those products. And the customer, you could um, change it again if you want to, and discount also. Now I want to pick the payment methods for this one. We can see that the, the default one is uh, web POS cost in, and this is a price for the whole cart. Um, normally, um, we web POS can support two online payment methods is authorize.net and try, but it's not show here. It's not shown here because um, there might be some change on the code. So if you guys are interested in this one, please just um, email us and we will just guide you guys on this one. And those are some offline payment methods that you could use. Cash in, credit card, cash on delivery, or custom payment. Let's just say the customer will pay by cash. You know, the, the price is 204 point or 25 but what if he just want to pay like $100 on uh, by cash and he want to pay the rest by another payment method so what will you do okay you have the option here add payment 
Okay, for example, I want it. Uh, he wants it to be cast on delivery. He wants to pay the rest um, when he receives the packet. So yes, um, you just choose this payment method and input the reference number here. Okay, um, just go back to when he just want to pay one hundred dollar. And he want to pay the rest later, and we will just mark the order as partial. So this one is partial payment. It is a little bit different from uh, multiple payment, all right? So, but we do not want it to be that um, complicated. So let's just say that the customer pay for the whole cart is uh, two hundred and four point twenty five. Now it is a late. You just want to. Uh, you just have to click on place order. So yes, that is how the order is made, is created. Well, uh, as I said, it it should be a little bit longer and more complicated, but actually it's quite easy with just some clicks. So uh, when the order is created, now you could either send the email to the customer, where well, we have a, the email here, just send it, or you want to print the receipt. Right, you should choose to print it or not, that is up to you. Okay, so that is basically how we create an order. How to view the orders? Here, we have the order history. When you click on it, you have a list of orders that you have uh, created here. And for X, um, and of course we have the six different statuses for the order. Pending, processing, complete, cancel, close, and not sync. What could we do with those orders? Of course, um, the two very good thing that we could do with them is reorder and refund. Of course, refund, you guys know how refund works, is uh, when the customer wants to refund all the, uh, maybe, um, the product that they have purchased, then you have to use the refund option. But reorder, um, let's say that that customer come back again and he wants to purchase all the product that he have he has purchased before. So, okay, you just imagine that you have to pick all those single products one more time. It would take a lot of time, so you have to click on reorder. And, okay, we will be back to the checkout page here. All those products will be placed here, and you will just um, click on checkout. Or maybe you should edit the card again by clicking on other product. It's up to you again. All right, uh, so that is how you do with the orders. On whole order, okay, you might wonder what this means. So let's just say I want to, uh, the customer want to purchase this one, but then he he changed his mind. He needs some time to uh, for the confirmation from his boss or something like that. So he 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 could not just process the check out yet. So uh, of course you could not just wait for him for like the whole day. You click on whole. Okay, so the order will be transferred here on whole order. With this order, you could just delete it if the, uh, if the customer do not want to proceed. Or you click on check out if he agree. Yeah, simple as that. When you click on check out, you will be delivered to this uh, the check out page. And if you want to edit it one more time, just go back and do the whole thing over and over again. All right. Um, as I just said, those were the two very, uh, those two main feature of WebPOS about creating and managing order. Next one, we have the register shift. Um, this one, you can manage your stop shifts um, by the cash flow. Okay, um, simple as that. Maybe we just have a talk, a talk about this later if you guys are interested in it because we do not have much time. Customer list. Um, also, this one, this one, this one is quite easy. Uh, the same as the orders list. You guys will just manage your um, customer by uh, editing those information and something like that, and even use them to check out if you want. Last thing I just want to say is the manage stocks. All right. Um, you want to check for your stock manually and update it manually. So you just have to come here. Uh, after you have counted for the number of product, you should update it here. For example, the new quantity is five instead of one. So, and after that, you should have to click on update, and everything will be updated. Yeah, that is simple as that. All right, so guys, I have just uh, so show you the um, demo for 
Magento to Web POS and some um, specific feature of it. I hope that you guys have uh, had a um, general idea of how it works. And uh, of course, if you guys have any other questions that related to this product, please just um, contact us and we will be pleased to have. Now, what's next? We will be back to Tracy and she will just um, have you guys about have you guys about some questions that we received recently a lot about these two products. Okay, welcome back Tracy. Uh, thank you, Jack. Um, now it's my part in question and answer. Okay, I have just uh, we received quite quite a number of uh, questions related to WebUS and inventory extensions, and uh, we will pick the typical questions that we think that are uh, useful the most to you and answer it in these sessions. Let's come to the first one. Um, this question is from. Uh, Alice, she asked, when your web UX connect with the thermal printer and cast drawer also? This question is asked um, a lot because they, the, the most concern about the uh, device that web POS work with. And the answer is that, yes, it does. Web UX can connect with the thermal printer and cast drawer. And for the device here is the list of uh, the device that web us work with for the barcode reader um, any device that connect with table uh, tablet laptop or pc no matter through usb port wi fi or bluetooth as long as the scanner can read barcode and fill the in card information into web us search then you can use it um, WebUS can also work with card readers, but uh, only works with the device connected to USB port. For the cast drawer and receipt printer, any device that can connect with tablet, laptop, and PC again, and uh, no matter through USB port, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. Okay, the next question is... Um, the question is from um, Adam. I see your web POS version 2 can support authorize.net and Stripe as online payment method. However, I will need more than that. It is possible to customize web POS to use with other payment methods as well. Okay, um, the thing is, our web POS and any others extension on May Star is open source. That means you can customize it to make it work with any other payment plugins. Um, otherwise, you can also order our customization service. Anytime you need, we will have you to integrate with the payment you want. Um, third question. This question is from Hai Li. Yes, um, can I have a trial? Um, no, at the moment we don't provide trial version for our extension, but instead we offer 30 days money back guarantee to ensure the customer rights and benefit. You can consider this commercial versions as a 30 day trial, not only without encryption, but also even more stabilizations. Besides, that you could test all the functions thoroughly on your demo side, and we are willing to clarify any concern. Not like the other trial, the paid version is 100% uh, open source and you will freely customize as you desire. We also offer free lifetime support and updates. First, if you have any questions or issues, you can contact us. Um, okay, the web US questions are pretty much and now um, I will answer some questions about inventory. There's a one question related to inventory on version 2. What will be the new features of inventory on version 2? Um, as you know that we already released the, uh, the first version of inventory on version 2, but basic features related to stock management. But we will release a new version soon, on this November. And the features um, that we added will be purchase order management, supplier management, and auto-fulfillment. 
this this very um, useful features for and the, the necessary features for too many stuff. Um, now we will go to the last questions. What is the, dif the difference between Merge 2 and Merge 1 version of inventory management? Um, well, for Merge 2, it had just released uh, not so long ago. So the features are quite basic and it's mostly focused on the stock management. But um, it's, since it's worked on Merge 2, we improve a lot in the coding quality and it's more stable and the features are more optimized. Mm, for the Magento 1 version, now it has more features. It can can uh, use Magento 1 version on if you are using a Magento 1 site. But if you are planning to have a new website, I still recommend you to use the Magento 2 because it has mm, a better design, better user experience, and higher quality of coding. So that's my recommendation. Uh, thank you, you guys, for um, following me and for joining this webinar today. If you have any questions about um, any part in this webinar, you can contact us anytime via our email address uh, at um, support at maystar.com. So, hope you guys to see you guys in uh, the next opportunity or the next webinar. Bye for now. Uh, Jack, do you have anything to say with our audience today? All right, yes. Um, I think that there is nothing more I could say except thank you, um, you guys for being with us today. We really appreciate your time and effort. And also, we have not down your email address yet, but just for um, contact purposes, we promise not to spam or using it for advertising purposes or anything. Um, again, I, I just want to say that if you guys have any question related to today's webinar or any extension in the file, please do not hesitate to, well, send out an email um, to support at maystore.com. Thank you, uh, everyone, and I really hope to see you guys again. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.